Hello everybody, welcome to the next episode of Airman's Prophecy. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on. And as you can see there, if you can get Jack to hit twice, he will just destroy everything. Like, these enemies... Hey, it learns Ice Rain. So I bought Ice Rain in Glenvale, that ice town, uh, next to Kandar. And you want to do that because when we get into the fire... Uh, arc, so to speak. Also, this is not the right area. They're just letting you know. Once we get into the uh, fire relic, yeah, it's gonna be bad. Also, we're going to be going back to Glenvale by the time we get enough money from doing all the little side stuff around here, including the skeleton treasure. That we need to buy the ice sword before we even go to the fire area because if not, you're gonna have a really hard time. Everything in there is a fire monster, and the fire damage hits for a lot. It's really rough. These aren't the trees. At least I don't believe these are the trees. No, it is. Five rubies, two diamonds. <laughs> now we're gonna sell that and see how much money we got for it. Because I need to go and buy that ice sword really bad. Anything ice related you're gonna want. And any fire amulets you're going to want. So we're gonna also be checking around for fire amulets. Um, yeah, like this. We're gonna need four of them. Make sure you buy them from her. We want that half damage. Sell the rubies, and sell the diamonds. And we have enough for that uh, ice sword, which we should really go back and get right now. Um, it would really be in our best interest. To run a robe, to let armor. If you want, you could try to buy some of the armor now, but I honestly suggest waiting a little bit and doing some stuff in this area before you look towards armor. Because there was that one person who said, Hey, this lady makes really good armor in the desert that we may have to talk to. Also, this is the one time you're going to need a elemental attributed weapon really bad. And also, you get to see Glendale. Which is honestly one of my favorite cities. So there is a clown here. I accidentally got him off screen. Just pick up that ice sword and leave.
I'm gonna have to get another map for my mom. Also, yes, we did just kill Ronald Rogue Runner. So just a loop. Avoid those snakes like the plague unless you have poison rings like I do. Um, but still avoid them because they do a lot of damage. I don't un recommend unnecessary battles at this point because you couldn't really get owned. Okay, where's the steps? Those salamanders right there. You're gonna wanna keep in mind of them. Avoid those giant guys because they'll just destroy you. this place. Enter at your own peril. We're not ready for that yet. That's where the fire uh, thing is. considering the enemies that were around there. But over here... <laughs> keep going up. Is that all now? My salamander skins for 50 gold pennies. Would you like to sell me yours? Now, I believe it's every four that you give her, she will make you something. It's a very good way of making money. items that you can use. It will basically deadly poison one enemy, but also um, can be sold for a lot of gold. You can make a lot of gold in Tarvindran by killing the monsters around it. But if you're not careful, you can also die easily by the sword. That's why Aquaflame Grandes are so great. 
Kelly class 34, Devin class 24, or 34. Unfortunately though, they can they can really do some damage. These enemies. Since it sells for 80 gold a piece, it's pretty worth trying to kill them for, especially if you've already, you know, got Jack's weapon, because it makes quick work of them. Now that we've got some Salamander skins, how about we give some of the Meridian skins? that. That's the best case scenario for using his abilities. And everyone that killed off Jack early or didn't want him, yeah, you're probably wondering what the crap, why did I decide to do that, because the game didn't know the case and he didn't have to his character. Yeah, I kind of wish that there was no option to get rid of him when he's this good and this kind of overpowered. I guess it's a difficulty choice, but still. There's three hits and everyone's gone. So it's not that many. We've got our rhythm of the quest yet. I forget how many it takes. I'd have to do a test run later on. But what we can probably do is go back to Town Bedroom and buy up some healing items and try to explore the fire cave and see how far we can get. Because there's some really good stuff in the fire cave that you can get that will really help you. the enemies there give a lot of gold. Even more than we're getting now. I want to say the amount of gold you can get is some... That was weird. It was like, um, Jack's power man just I don't have any more Aquafolum Grandes left. Let's go this way. Check every corner. Thank 
we chill, Devin. So let's, we drop some more plate armor so we can just equip that on her really quick. One more hammer, which we're going to be selling because I don't tend to use that party member ever. Um, because personally, like, to me, the other characters, they don't really exist. Like, they don't have any character to show for the party. They don't really, they're basically carbon copies of other characters. Like, the dwarf is basically Tanky or Devon. That's it. Like, they don't have anything else really unique to the party, and if it's not more unique than, say, Jack's ability to hit multi-targets for 800 damage, or his ability to kill from the enemy, or, you know, all the things that Jack can do, then there's not really a purpose. And then, like, I'd, I'd also hate to say it, but, like, Aside from the amount of hate I have for, um, Alicia, her actual main equipment that she's supposed to get, like her ultimate armor, pales in comparison to Jack's, and Jack started out as, like, stone. I just think it's kind of sad that there's no real incentive to keep anybody else in your party. Unlike ones like Chrono Trigger, where you can have over 500 options, basically, of your party. And... That's aside from the main character as well. Because getting into, like, the ultimate equipment, there's not really an ultimate equipment for the dwarf. And the best equipment for Alicia is awful, so, yeah, it's not quite impressive at all. Okay, we got some stuff to use up and sell and all that jazz, so... Let's sell some stuff. Plate armor, we don't need that anymore. Steel armor, we already got that up. Do not sell the Templar sword, because you never know when you're going to need that tribute, unless you get something better. Um, Paladin armor. Again, lady. I already bought enough from you. I think all we really need is healing items and maybe a weapon for Talia. Kind of been dancing around it, to be honest. So he does have a shield, which means he could wear the dragon shield. So, if you're wondering, yes, the Dragon Shield level leaves this fire. So I may want to actually buy some of that. I'm gonna buy 11 of those. Maybe more, actually. Just make an even 20. Gonna buy... Mm. About 10 of those. Let's just buy all the aquafolium we could ever want. And I think that's good. Not 
not a lot of our preparations. Whoa, on my health. Um. Well, now that a lot of our preparations are out of the way, the next episode, we'll be trying to get to Fire Relic. See you guys then.